We are going to learn about systemd, which is a system and service manager for Linux operating systems. But before that, we need to understand what systemv init or in short sysv init is, because systemd was introduced as a modern replacement for sysv init. I'm going to try to explain it in a very simple way. So nowadays, almost everyone who deals with technology has a PC or laptop, whose one of the main jobs is running different programs and services that help you do different tasks like surfing the web, playing music, or playing video games. The init system actually acts like a boss who manages all these programs and services. The init is a special process that is started by the kernel during boot time. It's the first process that is started and it's worth mentioning that it is PID is one, process ID is one. It tells all the programs and services when to start, stop, and how they should behave. The old init system called sysv init had many separate scripts and files to manage each program and service. So as you already guessed that, it was a bit hard to find and organize everything. But then a new system called systemd came along and it was like a super organized boss that brought all the scripts and files to one place. So it is easier to find and manage everything. It introduced several benefits, including faster boot times, parallel service initialization, dependency management, and improved logging. In a nutshell, systemd is a modern replacement of csv init, and it manages all programs and services, makes sure that they start and stop at the right time, and keeps a record of what happens. It makes things run smoother, and helps you to fix the problems if they occur. Now let's get some hands-on experience. I have already started my virtual machine and connected to it via SSH. So we know that SSH is a secure shell and the actual service name is SSHD. SSHD is a systemd service. To interact with systemd and manage services, we are gonna use systemctl command. So it is written systemctl. You can do tons of things with systemctl and it has great tab completion as well. Just write systemctl and just press tab two times, you will see that you have a lot of options. Or you can also just type systemctl and then two dash help, it will show you more information about systemctl command. I'm gonna look at the current status of SSHD service. So what you are gonna do is, you are gonna write systemctl then status, then our service name, which is SSHD. Press enter. This gives some useful information about the service, such as process ID of the service, how much memory and CPU it consumes, what are the logs for this service, and etc. I would like to stop this service. So what do you think? What will happen if we stop it? I'm absolutely sure that you have some ideas, but anyway, let's just stop it. So I'm gonna use systemctl then stop and service name. So it's asked for the password because in order to stop the any service, you need sudo access. So let's just provide the password. It seems we already stopped it. Let's check systemctl status. Yes, it is stopped. Well, I assume you saw that if we stop the SSHD service, the current SSH connection will be broken. Well, logically it should have broken, but it doesn't and it's intentional. I'm not gonna talk about why the current SSH session didn't fail. If it is interesting for you, you can just Google it. We're gonna talk about SSHD in more detail in one of the next modules. But for now, what I'm gonna do is, I will log out the current session and try to connect again. So let's just write exit. So it says connection closed. Now let's connect again. So we're gonna use SSH by his academy at this IP. Okay, we just got error. It tells us the connection refused. Why it happens? Because we stopped the service. I will start the service from the VM itself. So let's go back. Let's show. Let me log in. And from here, we're gonna start the service system CTL start SSHD. Provide the password. Let's check the status. 
Great, it's active and running. So let's try to connect one more time. I'm going to use SSH, the user at this IP. So voila, it works. Basically, we started the service and it fixed our problem. Let's provide the password. You can also restart the service using systemctl. You can use systemctl, restart, then provide the service name. Provide the password. Let's check the status. So it is started six seconds ago. Overall, systemctl is really powerful utility and you can do many things using systemctl. We learned what systemd is and why it's important and how to use systemctl. For now, that's all about systemd. I will see you in the next video.